Hi guys, today I will show you how to make this cool shutter animation in After Effects. I will show you the easiest way how to make it. You can use it on your text layer or like transition in your video. So before I start, don't forget to put like on this video and subscribe to my channel. Let's go to After Effects. Select your video and pre-compose it. Select it, press the right mouse button, pre-compose and copy my settings. The same steps you do with your next video. Again, select it, press the right mouse button and pre-compose it press OK, then go to Effects and find Shutter Effect, add to your video, go to View and change it to Render it. Now you have the basic animation, but we need to fix it. Open Shape and instead of Bricks choose Glass and for this option put from 25 to 50, play with it and put it as you like, but I will put 30, then close it and open Force 1 and for Radius put 0. And now change the place where you want the animation. For me, it will be here. So I will click on clock near radius, go one frame ahead and put 0 0.8. And now I have something like this. I also want to add some opacity animation. Click opacity, I click on clock, go to the end of your video and put zero. And that's it. But I also want to play with Felix. So close force one and open Felix. For gravity put 0 and for viscosity put 0 0.5. This option will uh, slow down my animation. So now I have something like this and it looks very nice. But I also want to add some S shake. Click here, new and create an adjustment layer. Cut it using combination control shift D. And also if you want you can enable motion blur. Go to the effects and find uh, S shake. Add to your adjustment layer, put uh, for amplitude and for frequency zero. Go to the beginning of your adjustment layer, click on clock, uh, go to the center and for amplitude put 0 0.7 and for frequency put 4. Go to the end and put 0. You can also add white flash, create white solid, press OK, cut it using combination control shift D. Like this. You can also enable motion blur and uh, select it, click opacity, click on clock, go to the end and put zero. Select your keys, press F9, open uh, the graph and make sure that you edit speed graph and just repeat my graph. Now you have something like this and it looks very nice. You can also use this animation on your text layer, create uh, your text new text, cut it and write something. For example, it will be my nickname. Align your text to the center and pre-compose it again. Go to effects and find shutter, add to your text layer. Go to view and uh, choose render it. And again, you have the basic animation and again, you need to fix it. Open shape and instead of bricks, choose glass and for this option put from 25 to 50 and now it will be 35 for me close it and open force one for radius put zero and choose the place where we want the animation but let's just say that i want it at the beginning so i don't need it close it and open uh, physics for gravity put zero and for viscosity put 0 0.5 now you have something like this but if you want to change the position of this animation on your text or on your video, just create a solid, white solid and hide it, turn off, select your white solid and select pen tool and just create a mask like this. Then again, uh, choose your text, open gradient and here select your white solid and for source put mask and for shutter threshold put 1%. Now you have something like this. And also if you want, you can create another mask. Again, select your white solid and create it you now here. And that's it. 
I hope that this tutorial was useful for you and now you know how to make this cool shutter effect and you will use it in your edits. So if you like this tutorial, don't forget to put like on this video and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for your attention. See you soon, guys.